Hello, thank you for joining me. My miniature railway Britain shirt has arrived. So this is the shirt I shall wear when I do most of my miniature railway adventures. As you would have seen in previous videos, I announced my plan was to visit every miniature railway. I'm not putting a time limit, it's just going to be as and when I can, but I'm basically going to work through all the miniature railways in Britain and um, make a little vlog at each one. But what the rest of this video is going to be, it's going to be the list of all the miniature railways I intend to visit. I've decided to do it in two parts because I originally estimated there'd be about 200. Now there seems to be about 350 odd, so quite a few more than I intended. So what's going to happen is each miniature railway, the list will come up, it will say each miniature railway, and there's going to be three different backgrounds. There's going to be, if the miniature railway has a green background, that basically means it's easy to get to. I'm quite confident I can get there by public transport so it won't be anything much more than a mile away from a railway station, tram stop, metro station, maybe even a heritage railway station for that matter. So they're the easy ones to get to. The ones that come up with a yellow background, they're the ones I'm probably going to have to drive to get to. So they're not quite as easy to get to but I can still get to them. And then there's not many, but there's one or two that have got a red background. Now, these are railways which I believe are currently closed, but the track hasn't been lifted. So I'm not talking about railways that are closed and the track's lifted and they're not there anymore. These are railways I believe exist, but they are, I suppose, hibernating is the word. So there are a few of those on there. So have a look through it. Um, if you want to make any corrections, if unfortunately any railways have closed, Please let me know if you can think of any railways beginning from A to M that I've missed out. Then please do comment. And what I'll perhaps do is um, every quarterly maybe I'll publish a video and it'll just mention any new railways or um, any that have closed. And another thing I in the questions and answers video, I have one more question come in that I think is quite an important one I should answer. Someone said if, if you go to a miniature railway and then it extends or re-gages since your visit, do you have to do it again? Um, the answer to that one is yes. So some miniature railways may feature more than once if there is any significant change. So the idea is each miniature railway in Britain should be featured at least once, but if there is any major changes, then they'll be featured again. So hope you enjoy the series. Now you're going to see all the miniature railways from A to M, and in the next few days they'll be N to Z, if there are any beginning with Z. I'm not sure if there are, but... You'll, we'll see soon. So enjoy the list of the miniature railways.